Now, the human digestive system is a complex series of organs and glands that process the food that we eat into usable energy for daily life. And in considering what we put into our bodies, research has shown that following a low-carbohydrate, high-fat diet increases symptoms of spastic colon and irritable bowel syndrome, especially for those with sensitive digestive systems. Now, Andrea, we were speaking about this the other day, the so-called Banting diet. Mm. Um, and we, we said that, you know, there are some people that are using it. It's all according to your own digestive system, right? Because why would this diet necessarily cause these uh, systematic problems? Well, if you look at the foods we eat, they all fulfill different functions. Mm. And carbohydrate foods um, contain fibers and also other nutrients called prebiotics yes. that um, are important for the functioning of the digestive system. Mm -hmm. So depending on what type of eating plan you choose, and one has to be mindful. And um, if you have a very sensitive digestive system, you may find that cutting out carbohydrates could trigger or aggravate symptoms like spastic colon mm -hmm. or if you have irritable bowel syndrome, just digestive sensitivities. Yeah. So today we're going to share some tips on how to cope with that and how you can sort of soothe those digestive complaints. Yeah. So let's, yeah, let's talk about that. Where do we start when we're looking at, because I guess we're trying to treat the symptoms now that you are in that kind of diet because it's working for you health-wise, but digestively it's giving you some problems. Where do we start? Well, um, if we look at um, the one key nutrient or two key nutrients actually that your body's um, needing, mm -hmm. the one is fiber yes. and that we find in most grains like um, wheat, oats, rice, etc. but also in our vegetables. Mm -hmm. um, so digestive fiber is really important for regular digestive function mm -hmm. but the nutrient that I wanted to focus on specifically today is prebiotics so we often hear about probiotics yes. so prebiotics is something that we find in foods such as onion mm -hmm. bananas and oats okay so the role of the prebiotics are to feed the healthy bacteria in your digestive system mm -hmm. So I see you don't even flinch when I no, say... No, but I, I, I remember because we were talking about it that the probiotics eat the prebiotics and that's what keeps oh, the system yes. functioning. <laughs> well okay. done. Okay. So, so they're supposed to be bacteria in our digestive system. They're friendly bacteria and they feed on nutrients um, from foods like onions, bananas and oats amongst yes. many others. Mm -hmm. So following a Banting diet, obviously you're going to eliminate many of these foods. Mm -hmm. And that's why sometimes these digestive sensitivities come out. Yes. Um, and so today we're going to look at um, natural remedies mm -hmm. that can help soothe symptoms like spastic colon, where there's cramps and discomfort in your digestive system, gassiness, um, and general digestive discomfort. Yeah, and I mean, just for those tuning in now, we're talking about uh, the Banting diet, which is a uh, low-carb, high-fat, and high-protein diet, which most a lot of people are taking on these days. So we're looking at the digestive problems that might be caused if you have a sensitive digestive system. Mm. So at home, remedies naturally, what can we do? Like I say, we should always, always have fresh ginger in the... Um, vegetable rack at home. Mm -hmm. So these um, ginger root slices can be added to hot water. You can make your own tea at home mm -hmm. or you can add it to your diet. But ginger is added here because it helps soothe spastic colon, bloating, um, digestive cramps, etc. Yes. So ginger is your number one root for mm -hmm. that. Um, and then the mint leaves also help soothe digestive sensitivity. So mm -hmm. if you have indigestion, mint leaves are really good. Once again, if you brew a pot of ginger tea, you yes. can add, pop in some mint leaves, some fresh mint, mint. while you add it, yes. And then these seeds over here are fennel seeds. Mm -hmm. And fennel also has soothing effects. Now, some people suffer with gassiness and flatulence. We always say, say fennel is your friend. Um, <laughs> in flatulence, fennel is your friend. <laughs> yeah, that's there right. We go. So, so fennel seeds can also be added into salad dressings or... Um, but basically you could make fennel tea. Mm -hmm. But um, all of these ingredients is actually put together in a supplement. Okay, yeah. So that is the vital spastical ease. Yes. So any person that suffers with um, symptoms like indigestion, um, stomach cramps, bloating, um, spastic colon, and those with irritable bowel syndrome that suffer with all, all of the above, yeah. um, can benefit by taking something like this because it contains ginger, mint and fennel extract. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So mm. you can still have the benefits of the diet, but then just treat the symptoms and then you'll be fine that way. You know what? That's the whole thing. People have choice as to which diets they want to follow. Yes. So each 
person has to figure out what works for them. I know lots of people are experimenting with these low carbohydrate diets, mm -hmm. but at least we're giving them advice if they suffer with these symptoms to yes. cope with that. Fantastic. Andrea, as always, thank you very, very much. And if you have any questions at home, of course, you are welcome to go onto facebook.com and follow at Andrea Duplessis Vital Expert to ask any of your nutritional questions. Vital Mini Rice Cakes, the better for you bite-sized snack, was voted product of the year for 2014.